The heart is really a muscle that pumps blood throughout the body. The heart has its own blood supply, which is provided by the coronary arteries. It also has its own electrical system that allows the heart to contract and pump in a very efficient manner. It is important to realize that the main fuel source for all of the cells in our body, but especially in the high energy cells like the heart muscle cells, is CoQ10. When the heart muscle becomes weak, you develop heart failure and you quickly use up its fuel source, CoQ10. Many studies have now shown us that the worse the heart failure an individual has, the lower the CoQ10 levels. This has led to a number of studies in individuals who have heart failure or severe heart failure called cardiomyopathy, where they have supplemented these individuals with this fuel source, CoQ10. Basically, the theory behind these studies is the fact that you could improve heart muscle function by supplementing the heart muscle's fuel source, which we know is depleted. All of these studies have shown the majority of these patients have a positive response. A recent study reported in the European Journal of Heart Failure involved the most robust study to date in regards to supplementing CoQ10 in heart failure patients. This 10-year study conclusively showed that CoQ10 supplementation significantly improved survival for even the most severe heart failure patients, while radically reducing the incidence of hospitalizations. This new study shows that CoQ10 supplementation can restore deficient CoQ10 levels in patients with heart failure and can improve heart function and actually extend lifespan and improve the quality of their life. This study documented the fact that those patients who consume CoQ10 in supplementation were significantly less likely to die from heart failure and had less than a half the risk of dying from any other causes at all. These individuals were also half as likely to suffer an adverse cardiovascular event during the study period when compared to those who did not supplement. After only three months of supplementation with CoQ10, the researchers detected improvement in heart function and the quality of life. Ideally, the practice of cardiology will soon include CoQ10 supplementation as part of their protocol and treating patients who suffer from heart failure. Now, I have written for years about the health benefits heart failure patients could receive by supplementing with CoQ10. However, this long-term, well-done study will hopefully convince others to do the same. This particular study supplemented 300 milligrams of CoQ10 daily. However, it was not the ubiquinol form, which is much better absorbed and more potent. My personal recommendations with my heart failure patients is to supplement with 120 milligrams of the ubiquinol form of CoQ10, which is absorbed anywhere from five to 10 times greater than the form used in this study. But along with my recommendations, I add cellular nutrition. I have learned that the improvement of their heart function will occur over a four month period of time. The majority of patients will see significant improvement However, if I'm not pleased with their improvement, I will increase their CoQ10 supplementation to 180 milligrams of this ubiquinol form. There is just too much evidence supporting this approach in today's scientific literature. My patients with heart failure not only have improved quality of life, but now this study actually shows they have improved their lifespan.